Hey everybody, today I want to showcase Foltes. Foltes is a order-based hero, or leader. He has the ability to boost a unit by one and give it zeal. Zeal allows a order unit to circumvent its um, summoning sickness to be able to use its ability right away. The best cards to use it on in the bronze category would be like the Lands Connect, um, because Foltes gives it that one point boost that triggers its secondary ability. When it is boosted, it does three damage instead of one. It's one of my favorite cards to use in this deck. You can only get it, I believe it comes from Thronebreaker, so you might not be able to get it without that game. Well, I guess you could technically craft it. Um, I open up with Lubricin. I put a lot of cards in this deck that are engine based. So opponents that do not have removal for engines will suffer. Um, there are also a lot of cards, I have so many engines that my opponent hopefully runs out of removal and then my more powerful engines get to um, sway the battle into my favor. Okay, I see this as a self-wounding card that I'm afraid of, so I'm going to use Margarita to lock it. And then when I end my turn, um, after I give this buff out, I'm going to put it on the lubricant just in case my opponent has removal that um, I'm afraid of. Now, of course, they could have a Scorch, but I don't think that I have to worry about that. I'm going to play into round one hard because I have really strong engine cards that I can use in later rounds to just completely wreck my opponent. Yeah. The lands, there's you see the lands connect using its special ability. Sorry, <laughs> I was actually just um, thinking about what my opponent's doing here with the discard effect. So, Bran does one damage to a random opponent every time he discards a card. So, my opponent's going to do a lot of discarding. Um, the discard mechanic, because it's random, isn't effective for removal against engines. So, Skellige, a lot of the Skellige mechanics are actually really weak against this kind of full test deck. Not only am I able to bypass um, waiting the turn for my order units to trigger, my opponent usually doesn't have enough direct damage to kill off my units, especially later into the round. So I often open up against Skellige with something i okay with them killing, and then move into things that I am confident they won't be able to um, defeat. Now, Mineke is really good at countering bloodthirst decks because she gives boost and also pushes some of my units out of the range of being removed now the blue stripe scouts are there because i have blue stripe commandos i can put the blue stripe commandos to the bottom of my deck and when i use their order ability the they'll pull out all of the blue stripe commandos so i got a kind of pseudo henselt so i baited out my opponent's removal now I can play Roach Merciless without being afraid of my opponent killing it. Skellige has a really strong opener in that they can just basically from, like do four damage to one card and just eliminate it. Removal is a lot stronger than its strict provisional value because you're often getting rid of secondary effects. Again, I don't want him having any Queen's Guards on the board, so I'm going to immediately eliminate that. My opponent's probably surprised that I'm playing into this round, but because I have the powerful engine card, it's not, a, it's not an obvious engine card like <laughs> some of the others in the game, um, like the Mahakman Dwarf that um, boost every like turn if it's boosted already. So here's that random damage. He's not getting my Roach low enough, so I'm able to use Roach to just steal stuff from my opponent. Roach will have two stacks at the beginning of your next turn. So I'm happy about that because I'm ready to just steal one of his cards. But first I have to think about what I want to play in my hand. I'm going to play my Cleaver. Cleaver is going to become worse and worse as this round goes on. So I want to use him earlier rather than later. I'll use him as kind of removal even though that card is not a threat to me. The little um, pentagram that you saw in the left-hand corner of Morkvark uh, means that it's doomed, so it won't be able to come back again. It just doesn't go to the graveyard. 
So I'm going to start stealing some of these skulls. My opponent's like, no, my skulls. <laughs> Not only does it make my roach safer, it also counteracts my opponent's passive, which is every time he discards, he damages something random. He's going to ra he could randomly damage the skull that I stole from him. Death Molt is another one of my, uh, it's my finisher card. So while I have a lot of cards that are good at the very beginning of the round, Death Molt is very good at the end of the round when my opponents used up all of their uh, fancy abilities. So he there just hit my uh, skull I stole from him. Now, this is really fortunate for me because my opponent has so many low strength units. I'm willing to just take things one turn at a time. Now, you might be like, why did I take the skull? Because I'm afraid that my opponent has a way to take out my roach. I'm going to use Death Molt. Death Molt does damage based on the amount of points it's boosted by. So by using the Swallow Potion on Death Molt, he's able to do six damage with his order ability. Okay. Coral uh, is very strong in Brand because her um, ability allows her to do uh, damage every time she disc uh, discard three times. And so Brand's going to hit me three times for that. I'm going to put more stuff on the board. If she gets rid of my Roach, then I'm going to uh, pass in this kind of situation. A lot of RNG happening here. He got he finally got his Dimarini Shackles. He's been looking for that for a long time. The problem is that I'm pretty much done. I've gotten done a ton of damage to my opponent because of his inability to deal with um, Merciless. If your opponent just lacks the proper triggers, they're going to get kind of screwed over. Now, if my opponent's lucky, he's going to be able to get ahead of me in two cards, but he doesn't seem to be that fortunate. He had to play three, uh, two cards just to get ahead. Had he hit my um, <laughs> the other skull I stole, he might have been had a lot of trouble. So, did I try to, ah, I didn't get lucky. <laughs> So there's arguments for not playing this card right away. This is another engine card. Every time somebody plays a card, including when it's played, it gets a stack. So I probably should have played a scout first to kind of bait out removal and then played it because then I would have had a lot more points. But I'm not afraid. I have a lot of points in my hand. I have about 20 points just with the cow and um, Selkirk, I think is his name. My opponent's just... Yeah. I would have liked to have a Blue Stripes Commando, but I didn't draw into one this particular time. I'm digging an un... My opponent took a while to just pass. So here I can just buff up the cow, activate its order ability. Yes, the buff that I gave it goes away, but that's like four provisions extra over the card's value. And so using full test on the prize winning cow is one of the most effective ways to use full test stability. It bypasses the prize winning cow's major weakness, which is its one strength, and the fact that it takes a turn for it to trigger. Now we're going to speed things up again. We're just going to do these games real quick. Um, because I think you guys got the gist of the deck. Engine cards. Um, lots of removal. Big finishers. So this is why I like to play Cleaver. People like to use the tactical advantage right away. So I'll just use Cleaver to reverse that. Cleaver's cheaper than Scorch. Um, a little bit more expensive than an epidemic. 
So here I'm going to just get rid of my opponent's veteran. And he surrenders. <laughs> okay, let's try to find something a little bit better. Uh, here's another um, game against Skellige. I For some reason, I just ran into four games against Skellige in a row. Um, another King Bran. Now, I normally would use the tactical advantage on Delirian. Uh, Calvary, I believe. I don't know all the names of these cards yet. A lot of these are related to Thronebreaker, so they're new to me. Yeah. Brina Bran. Brina Bran's kind of similar to what she used to be, which is she was a draw engine, kind of like another spy, a gold spy. So they killed off one of my removal cards. That's fine. Again, I don't mind playing into this round. Whatever my opponent plays here, I can... You, pro you normally get ahead of my opponent. The Arbalist acts as an engine card. So here I can just ping it with that and then use my Arbalist to bring it down. Now I want to make sure that I have more strength than my opponent so that I win this round. Just in case I need to uh, go into another round after this. Okay. Got my Commando. Don't want my Commando. Thinking about what I want to keep in my hand. Full Test has a lot of mulligans, so you're you're allowed to play some more risky cards than leaders that have one or two mulligans. Again, I open up with the Lubricant. It's a fairly safe thing to uh, play. If my opponent plays some removal on it, I can actually just transform it into a Botchling, and it heals itself. And then it becomes a card that buffs me, one my weakest unit, by one every turn. It's a really good counter. So my opponent had to play a gold card to do that. He wasted some of his removal on that. And now I'm going to transfer some of my points onto the uh, Roach Merciless. You might notice that I didn't use all three stacks. That's because I'm afraid of a Scorch. So here I see my opponent lining up my units. I'm afraid of what this means. So I get rid of my opponent's artifact and I buff up. This way I can keep things at least out of, um, things are not all the same, you know, equal strength. Okay. Gonna lock that up. I don't want my opponent having any damaging abilities. There you go, a Scorch. Don't want to be dealing with that. I want to bait out as many of my opponent's um, high quality cards as I can. I'm going to play Selkirk, buff him up, take out that Coral before we can use it. I'm not going to take out Ceres um, because if she goes to the graveyard, it's possible for my opponent to bring her back with revive cards. My opponent's unfortunately just ties here, which is why it was important for me to go equal in the last round. Oh. That was cool. He forced me to lose my scout, which is fine. <laughs> it's better than losing the commando. That's for sure. Put out Avalok. And my opponent forfeits. Okay, one last match for the day. Again, I'm just running into a bunch of um, Skellige players. Yeah, Calvary. That's what it's called. Just play it out. It's an engine card. It only cost me four provisions. My opponent removes it, then who cares? Okay, now I want to buff that up because it... Okay, so they're playing weather. I'm not particularly perturbed by the weather. My goal here is to win this round. I'll just play Vess for now. Vess is great with the prize winning cow because she can give the prize winning cow zeal without me wasting one of my full test charges and buffs. 
thinking about what I want to play. Again, I want to make sure that I keep this round. I want to keep things buffed up so that my opponent can't just remove stuff and I can use Vess's ability without wasting it. Push my opponent out of the round because I know I have great engines. I can waste my opponent's weather card. Okay, I'm going to keep this hand. Again, I'm going to open up with the Calvary. It's an engine card that will bait out removal. It's only four. F okay, I would really like to steal more Quark, but can't always get what you want. I'm going to lock it for now. Oof. Maybe locking it right away was not the best move. Okay, I'm going to play my Corvo. Again, every time my opponent plays a card, it gets a stack. Oh, anytime anybody plays a card, it gets a stack. Here, my opponent makes a really interesting move. That was a 14-point play, but again, he also had to use his leader ability. So my opponent is actually pushing everything out of the range of my Merciless, which is actually kind of cool. I don't have very many targets right now for my full test ability, so I'm going to just use it on the prize winning cow. I'm actually protected from scorches because my opponent has now has a unit of higher strength than... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of that weather. He probably doesn't have very many, but the more every weather he gets is bad. You might notice that I'm not using Corvo's stacks anymore. My opponent's hitting the front row because that's where his veteran is, and so my Corvo is kind of protected against his strategy. I'm going to play the Blue Stripe Commandos to the melee row, which is probably a bad idea uh, because it is subject to removal there. Okay. Here I'm deliberating exactly what I want to do. My opponent kind of plays into my strategy here, which is kind of weird, but I don't really have a lot of time. To use all these stacks, I have to do them each individually. And because I'm using a controller, <laughs> things are a little wonky. I ran out of time and I didn't get a perfect um, attack there. <laughs> but it's so devastating that my opponent loses. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that last game was hilarious. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a dog.